All right, folks, so we're going to get into the, the setup process for getting your camera online so you can watch live video feeds and, you know, um, check on um, the Porsche Bandits. So I disconnected my camera so we can go through these steps again. So that's why we have the troubleshoot button. But the cool thing about this camera is it, it lets you know what's going on. So just get into it. We have we're gonna re-add my Wi-Fi network, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through all steps so you can skip ahead to whichever method you want to use. I will say this: the one at the bottom is gonna be um, your best option because that's gonna be um, directly connected. You're gonna be using the Ethernet cable, but let's just start at the top, selecting that one. So you see right here it says power one hold the the reset button which is right here now they have two reset buttons you have one on the bottom which you have to unscrew that and then you have one right one right here which is easy to access I'm gonna press and hold that for five seconds and once you say that you can go ahead and just wait <clears throat> see that flood light the flood light is pretty bright all right. Just give a couple more seconds. So let's go ahead and select that. Check that box. All right. Camera started. Camera started. Select next. Wait for <clears throat> so, as you can see right right here, we have to connect our mobile mobile device to our home Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go ahead and Wait enter my connection. password. All right, so see here we have a QC code, QRC code. So we're just gonna put that right there in front of the camera so I can scan it. Network connecting, please wait. All right, so <clears throat> when you're using a Wi-Fi method, they tell you you need to be as close to your Wi-Fi router as possible, your cell phone and the camera. Um, so if you have any issues with this method, just get as close as possible. Just get as close as possible. You know, even though it might tell you Wi-Fi network was a success, it still may not be within range to establish a um, a good connection. So, so right here, we we heard the beep. So we heard the beep. So let's go ahead and go to the next step. And right here, it shows you right here the router mobile phone and device should be as close as possible all right folks so the camera is on the line you see right here we have my my hand we're we getting alerts already all right folks so we're gonna go to another method of adding your camera um, first one we did was the was the QR code and the next one we're gonna go to the AP hotspot so right here I'm gonna press and hold the reset button which I already did so what I'm gonna do here is select that box and select next so it's telling us right here the the camera is going to create a, a hotspot for you so we're gonna go to settings and we want to find that hotspot that they created so there we go right there pix plus ap and we want to connect to that Wait for connection. so once we connect it then we can go back let's go ahead and go back and you know start Wait wi-fi on the west i mean it pretty much pretty much walks you through so we'll go to settings again All right, so my phone did this thing. It told me internet wasn't available, so we're gonna go back again. Your phone might do that. You might have to go, go back and go forward, go back and go forward. Now we have the next button right there. So the next menu you're gonna connect to your home Wi-Fi. Now this is all through the through the A uh, Pix Plus app. So that's my home Wi-Fi right there, and I'm just going to enter my password. All right, see we got our percentage bar. Again, folks, you want to be as close as possible. You might run into 
um, an error message at the end. Just you know, just get as close as possible um, during your setup process. That's why they say, you know, don't mount it or anything until you have the camera up and running. Then you can unplug it, pull it every, put it wherever you want to put it, and then it'll it's going to automatic automatically connect back um, to the to your to your network. All right. So the last method we're going to be using is via um, Ethernet cable. So let's go ahead and take us to that screen. Re-add Wi-Fi, and that's going to be your it's going to be your last option right here. All right, so we already did that. We got the camera reset, so we got our Ethernet port right here. So you just want to go ahead and put that in there. As you see right here, you got a a green light that lets you know you are connected. So so if we unplug this the light is going to turn off so that's how you know you got a connection so if you ever in a situation where you got a hard wire you need to troubleshoot first thing you want to check is that light so we want to go ahead and plug that back into our router so our light is on and let's get back into the app all right so at this point, what you want to do is the camera has a QR code on the back of it right there. So you just want to get into some light. All right. And get that in the field of view. And let's see if we can line that up. All right. Once you get that, lined up now this is the quickest way to do it again you can you can do it this way and then uh, you know hop on over to Wi-Fi they do say that in the menu you can set it up hardwired and then uh, reconnect it